People who have the guts to ask their crush out what happened afterwards. She thought I was joking. We are still friends, but it was pretty awkward. Found out she liked me before she started dating her new boy Fire and... Damn. He screamed no and ran away. This was in the 5th grade. Life be like that sometimes. We went out on a date and I learned she was not the one for me after all. But it was a good lesson, and had I not asked her out I just agonized over what might have been. She said yes, asked her out on a second date, specifically said the word date this time. She said she didn't know we were going out on dates. Oh well. F. Is for friends who do stuff together. I realized I developed crushes easily and had pretty bad taste. F. Ro. G. Legs. R slash Sedin Goodbye. Hash I have been summoned. I've had multiple crushes. All of them rejected me and never talked to me again. Sounds about right. The best one was I'll think about it which was followed a day later by her asking my best friend to tell me not to talk to her again. Fun for days. That's unnecessarily rude. Ask mine out today. Have a date on Friday. Congrats on your courage and have a great date on Friday. Had her I got rejected, and now it's awkward sometimes. Respect for trying. Sorry it's awkward. Sometimes shit happens. And at least you know. She punched me in the arm, and said fuck yeah. Then we went on the most awkward nerd date, because we just wanted to like each other. It was a good nerd date. We are still dating to this day. Define nerd date. A date with me. Ha, nerd. I actually asked her to a dance, and she said no. Half a year later I asked another crush to a dance, and she said no. Then half a year after, that I asked a different crush to the dance and guess what? Holy fuck she said yes I was fucking confused I wasn't used to that answer. Oh, okay. Thanks anywa, wait, what? After she said yes my initial reaction was wait really? Well congrats dude. Well we've had someone ghost me, a bunch of standard rejection, me fucking up terribly with one person in particular, and never getting the chance again, and one person admit, that they were interested in someone else. I'm sorry to hear about that man, I too have had bad luck. She's sitting next to me in our apartment playing Minecraft, never thought she'd actually be interested in me, I guess I was selling myself short, do it opus, could be the best thing you ever do. Minecraft will always, and I mean always, get you the woman you want. She said she wants to go out on a date, one led to two, three, etc. Someday I'm gonna try and kiss her after our concert. Eat plenty of beans before the date, and bring beans for her to eat too. Bitches love beans. I just dudes eating beans. Damn. What kind? Beans. I just recently got my first ever crush. It is really hard for me to develop feelings for someone, as I need to know this person very good. I know her for more than two years now, and we never were more than just school friends. The last holidays though, we suddenly did more and more together with other friends and I developed feelings for her. Then, after we had been at a friend's house, and slept there after a movie night with six people in one room, I should have had to share a bed with a male friend of mine. But I did share this bed with my crush, she liked me, I did not know at that time though, we drank a bit, and cuddled before on the sofa, while watching movies for a while, so I just went into the bed I should have had to share with my male friend with her, lol, we cuddled the whole night and I asked her out the next day, she said yes, and we are now in a relationship, I'm beyond happy. This is exactly how I would want to start a relationship with someone. I have a tip for everyone who finds it difficult to ask out people they are interested in. Ask them out, before you get too attached. Then if they say no it's not devastating. If they say yes you get this time, to get to know them, and you can break it off. If you decide you're actually not interested, if you have to see them often, and you're worried they might treat you differently just say I just wanted to explore my options with you. If they turn you down, don't let them think you were in love with them or something like that. Good luck. Last time I tried this she said yes. I got super attached, and then she basically said lol jk, and started dating my best friend. 
wait to get attached until you have the second date planned. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. My sophomore, her junior year of college, we got introduced through mutual friends and hit it off. We started hanging out at parties we both went to, in the coffee shop at my school, doing homework, all that. We didn't really seek each other out, just kept running into each other, because of our mutual friend groups. This went on for a month. We'd hang out, and chat and flirt jokingly. I didn't think I had a chance with her being a pretty, popular girl a year older than me, so I figured she was just being nice returning my jokes and all. It turns out, she didn't think she had a chance with me, and also thought I was just being nice slash friendly with my jokes. Her and her friends would alway joke when, will I be with you slash thermal climber? He's the light of my life, and so I didn't think of it as any less of a fun joke when she did it. One night we both went out to a bar party with a group of friends, and ended up going home with different people. We were chatting about it the next day, and I was like fuck, this hurts a little, is this feelings? A couple days later she mentioned that the guy wanted to grab lunch with her, and she wasn't sure she was into him the same way. I was walking her home, and thought that if I didn't say something I'd regret it, so I gambled that maybe all that joking slash flirting from her was real. Told her I had feelings for her, and then spent the longest 5 seconds of my life waiting to hear I'm glad you said something, because I like you too. It's been 2 and a half years, and we are still going strong. That's awesome. She said yes, and we went out to dinner and saw a movie together. Dropping her off, we kissed on her parents' front porch for what seemed like forever. Her dad thought so too because he started flicking the porch lights on and off. Good times. Standing on your mama's porch, you told me that you'd wait forever. Who and when you held my hand? I knew it was now or never. Those were the best days of our lives. Fun fact. Brian Adams, the singer of Summer of 69 was born in November 1959. An interviewer asked him how the song made sense. Given that Adams would have been 9 years old in the summer of 1969, Adams replied who says it's about the year 69. Damn. Those had to be some special 69s for him to dedicate a whole song to. Q intro guitar. I got my first real sex dream. Then I had them all the time. He was the head chef where I worked, and I was new in town. We always sat in the same booth during our breaks, and got to know each other over the course of a month, and found out we had a lot in common. One night before I left I wrote my number down, to give it to him, and to ask him out. We asked each other do you wanna hang out, at the same time and then blushed. Our first date was at a rooftop bar celebrating a Kaoka's birthday. He asked me, if he could kiss me. That's when I knew he was the one. Now, years later, we have a beautiful baby boy that we love more than each other. He still has my phone number in his wallet. Oh this is adorable. She really wanted to but was busy. Who's gonna tell him? I sat next to her in the university cafeteria. It was really, really awkward. Then one of her friends came by and made it more so. Turns out we were both really shy, but had a mutual interest in jikari like sci-fi. We've been married 15 years now. This gives me hope. After I've sat alone in my university cafeteria every day since I've started college. We are getting married on Saturday. Nice. Nice. He said he wasn't looking for a girlfriend, but he was interested. If it was sex only, I politely declined. Well, at least he was honest about it. I go to a cafe and the barista is a grade A cutie pie. I just broke up out of a soul sucking relationship 3 months ago that had lasted 7 years and 5 years longer than it should have. We talked often after work, for me and shared similar tastes in music, if not an appreciation for all music. Appreciation for film, and discussed much of it even suggested some movies to each other to watch, and shot sarcastic comments back and forth. I mustered the courage, to ask her to go pumpkin carving last weekend, and she said she would love to. She asked the next day, if I'd like to out, because she had a surprise day of work off. We had a 4 hour conversation at a cafe downtown, and then went on a 2 hour walk. Came back to the car holding hands, in all of my life I've never really done that. She said she wanted to not get into a relationship like that that quickly and I agreed. Drove her home and gave each other a hug goodbye. She asked if Kay wanted to come over that next Friday evening and cook dinner and watch some scary movies. We didn't it was great. 
Watching people get chainsawed in half had a desired effect, I believe, because I ended up crawling into her arms and squeezing her palms, watched the next movie and just ended up essentially hugging the entire time and scratching each other's head, time to go, and I'd go to give her a kiss on the cheek goodnight, but she goes for the lips instead, we laugh, two nights later, and we spend Sunday all together and go thrift store shopping, too much rain for the planned pumpkin carving, six hours later, I walk her to her car and we look into each other's eyes, I go in for the real deal kiss and she does too, that was yesterday, I feel a happiness inside I haven't felt inside in years, we are extremely blunt, and to the point with each other, much of the dialogue between us and the above story is this way, I like her, because she makes me want to take care of myself, and to be myself, I feel like exercising and studying slash reading again for the first time in years all of a sudden, it has only been little more than a week, and I'm hesitant to out labels to this right now. In fact, I don't know why I'm even sharing this. I can tell she is very special to me, and that's all that matters I suppose. You never know who you will discover behind a face until you talk to them. This has most definitely affected me for the better, even if it does not end in the ideal manner. My only hope is that my old habits do not resurface and hurt this. Thanks for reading. Enjoy your time together, makes me happy to see someone take steps to improve themselves, and actually acknowledge the lessons as they unfold in front of them. Good luck. Rejected and worse, he bullied me all through high school. Honestly, what did you saw in him? Seriously I want to know this too. He refused me, politely telling me he's actually male, I thought he was a girl. Did you talk to this person, before asking him out? Yes, we'd talk all the time. Her name was Terry and we would skinny dip all the time at summer camp. I just thought she had a slightly deep voice and a 6 inch clitoris. As a gay man, I don't know much about clitorises. However, I think a 6 incher and 2 sandbags attached might be cause for concern on a woman. As a straight man, I don't know much about clitorises either. I was an idiot, and told him, that I wanted to include him in my back quota ream, and he got confused, but then realized I just confessed my feelings for him. Cue the back quota shit I liked you to were so pretty and me freaking out, because I didn't think I'd get this far. He then stopped me, and said we weren't gonna date yet bc he had issues he wanted to sort it. Three months later, a lot of romantic tension, and we began dating. Now, we are a month away from our first anniversary. Props to your guy for saying he needed to work out his personal issues first. Good man there. I dated her for 8 years, then married her. 2 years strong marriage last week. If you ask your crush out, the worst that happens is you're embarrassed for a couple days. The reward, however, has the potential to be life changing. If you ask your crush out, the worst that happens is you're embarrassed for a couple days. Fuck, I wish. Yeah, I was crushed for a long time. I think I was too fucking sensitive. Yep, and in my case, gave rise to social anxiety and a fear of rejection I struggle with to this day. She just said yes, I thought you'd never ask, and then smiled and hugged me. We went to the movies. Quite wholesome my friend. Then they banged in the movie theater. Wholesome. I didn't actually ask him out. But at a party I let him know how I felt, and that I'd wanted to ask him out for a long time, we'd become good friends and I wasn't too worried, he was taken aback and delighted, or oh my dude. He said, blushing I'm straight, but, that almost makes me wish I wasn't, really, you think I'm that cute? He gave me a hug, and I felt his back muscles rippling through his t-shirt, I'm totally using this as an excuse, to feel your back muscles I told him, he hugged me tighter, he's one of my closest brothers and one of the few people I can be utterly, grotesquely open with. 22 years later we live 1500 miles apart, but we still text often. Congratulations for your bravery, and for the excellent taste point M. Someone with a soul like that is pure treasure.